What's going on YouTube? Flashy here. Welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 Combat League video. And today, I think we'll be playing some Nightwolf. I haven't played Nightwolf in a little while, and you guys always seem to really enjoy the Nightwolf gameplay. But the question now is which variation do we want to play in this video? You know what? Let's just go with the classic combos. Let's just go with Matoka Warrior. I do think that this variation is probably like the least efficient for Nightwolf. I think Shaman is really good now with the mid lightning arrow and spirit tracks being able to combo off stuff. And then Ancestral Gift is really, really good, but you have to pay, play really, really slow paced. Okay, he woke up. Man, these Shao Kahn's are everywhere. I feel like this is another video where we're going up against a Shao Kahn. I feel like he's been in like every single video we've been making. They're everywhere now, man. And they're no joke, 37%. Wow. Jeez, man, look at the damage. I haven't even done anything. Oh my goodness, and that doesn't even punish. It's gonna be a long, long set. All right. I did literally, what was that, 90 damage to him? I didn't even do a throw's worth of damage to him there. There we go. Nope. I can't press a button. I have no time to do forward two. This is crazy, look at his damage. Is that another 36? It is, jeez, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I literally have no clue what to do. I guess this character in the corner, he's just gonna back up and then do something. Yep, just like that. I can't jump. All right, back to the basics. Back to the basics. We're going down threes into, oh no, now I'm dead. I misclicked, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yep, dead. All right, one nothing. All in all, I did probably like 400 damage to that guy over two rounds. All right, so let's not get put in the corner and let's not lose in two combos. Let's do it. There we go, Nightwolf. Nightwolf is a weird character for me, man. I love playing him. I do have a ton of fun playing him, but there's just something about him that I'll just lose like five games in a row with him. And then out of nowhere, I'll win like 10 games in a row with him. It really doesn't make any sense. I can't figure him out. But um, we're already off to getting absolutely destroyed. Let me see. Thank goodness we punished that. Alright. Nice, good blocks. Not gonna let that happen. Plus frames. Oh no! Nice grab. I meant to do forward too. Let's see here. I probably could, uh, what's it called that? Nothing. Oh my goodness, the grabs. I'm so scared about the forward three that I'm not paying attention to the grabs. Jeez. And now we're dead. Look at this combo, man. Dude, this character is nuts. I gotta start playing him more. But how come when I play Shao Kahn, it doesn't look anything like that at all? All right, we gotta come back right here. This is sad. Nice blocks. I'll take the throw. I'll take like the 13 damage over an entire freaking Shao Kahn combo. Nothing there. I'm trying to make him like really scared of the overhead so I can get some lows going. Alright. Now he should be uh... He should be pretty conditioned to want to block the overhead. I can't with this freaking giant hammer of death anti-air. Now I'm dead. That's death. Let's see the damage. Oh my goodness, man. That is crazy. Alright, fatal blow comeback. Fatal blow comeback. Let's go. There's only one way this is gonna work. I gotta ex I gotta get out of this fatal blow, and we're gonna have to rhino charge crushing blow. Oh no, it missed. Got him. There we go. What a comeback, Nightwolf. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see, man. Alright. Let's get some zoning going here. Because I can't do anything. I wonder if I can send those back with my uh, reflect. Hold this. Hold that. That's fine. I'll take these trades. Nice block. Jump over. Got him. Finally, we're getting some momentum, Nightwolf. Oh, I meant to do something else there. Nice. Down two. I could have killed him right there. Oh my! Miss clicks. 
I'm gonna lose this, aren't I? There we go. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness, that was so scary. All right, we got ourselves a little set here. I just gotta take it slow. I think my problem with Night Wolf is I'm trying to like 50-50 people, and that's just not how you're supposed to play them. There's time for that, but I think what I'm doing it is just all wrong. So we're gonna have to try start to play around our grab. We gotta play around the zoning and slow it down a little bit. Let's see what we can do here. And that's not a good way to start. That's not a good way to start either. Oh, I hate that it does that, man. I hate that it does that. Right, at least he switched sides. Get me out of the damn corner. No combo, and he reads the down two. Somehow that 1-1-1 one, one, one didn't combo into the, uh, the slam. Rising Tomahawk, which is annoying, and now we have a huge deficit to get over here. I thought I blocked, man. Grab. Oh, we're gonna have to do another crazy comeback, aren't we? Nope, I think we just lost. I can't believe that move, dude. Look at this character, man. I haven't even pressed a button yet. Alright, so I could actually punish that crazy hammer of doom. Throw counter, that's fine. Oh no, that was escape failed. I thought I teched it, but I guess I didn't. Alright, here we go. Another comeback. Another insane comeback. Dude, these Shao Kahn's are crazy. I think the reason they're all working me is just because A, he does so much damage, and B, I have no idea what to do against Shao Kahn. Oh, I almost had him, dude. Alright, good games, man. At least we got to see the brutality. Yeah, these Shao Kahn's are crazy, dude. They're crazy, and I really don't know what to do with Nightwolf against them. Dude, those back ones or back twos, whatever they are, that sound of the hammer just swinging into the air and knocking my character up is, like, ingrained in my head. But that was set number one with Nightwolf. See you guys in set number two, where hopefully we can redeem ourselves. All right, and we're back for some more Nightwolf action. I'm telling you, man, when we get into Grandmaster here, these matches get so difficult. Does that happen for you? Leave a comment down below when you're playing Combat League, when the matches just get, like, impossible for you. I tend to do just fine all the way up to Grandmaster and then like midway through Grandmaster I just start getting absolutely worked and that happens like every single season. I still manage to get the Demigod to get the skins and stuff but taking all these characters into into matches where people are using their mains and sweating has always been super difficult but it's alright. Because when we win it's just that much better and this is taking a little while to load. Oh there we go. But when we get these wins with all these random characters we play against these people playing their mains it's, uh, it feels good. So... We'll see what we can get going here. Also, I feel like I need to start using the armor on Spirit of Kiba. If you buff and you meter burn, he gets a hit of armor, which is really, really good to cover wake-ups and stuff. Up in there. Is he seeing double? Nice. Good anti. -air. We'll see what we can do against seeing double. I can punish that. Nice. No roll. I gotta start playing around Nightwolf's grab. That's what makes Nightwolf the scariest, when you play around his grab. Oh, I'm dead. That hurts. I can punish that too, wow. Nice. Nothing here. Oh, I meant to shoulder charge. Nice. Oh, no! No! I messed it up. I might have just lost. I should have just gotten right to Fatal Blow after I popped him up. Got him. Alright. He was literally one frame away from anti me. I knew that jumping was going to be sketchy, but... I was hoping with Nightwolf jumping too, we'd be able to get him. Got him. This is going to be a lot of damage. Oh, no, it's not. We don't have another bar meter. That's alright. I'll take 20. 20 into a grab is good enough for me. Oh, I caught that. Nice. Good jump. I'm not going to break away. Let him get the damage. Oh, I can't reflect that. That's funny. Imagine you just sent the uh, sent his clone back to him and it tackled him. That would be sick. Nothing. Alright. Hold that. Hold these. See, this is why Shaman is so good because he gets a mid uh, projectile, which is really, really good. Oh, let's go. Yeah, that's got some tricky range to it, man. That fatal blow can catch it. There's like little particles that come off of the two animals that pop out. 
And they have hurt boxes. And it catches a lot of people. So I'll take that. I'll take that. One nothing. A nice 2-0-W. There we go, Nightwolf. Another thing I don't really like about Matoka Warrior Nightwolf is that he doesn't really have that many crushing blows. He's got two on his throw. Oh, don't forfeit. Okay, he's got two on his throw. But not a lot of people tech throws. And then he's got the Rhino Charge one, which you barely see. I did get it, but you barely see that. And then it's down two, and like, that's pretty much it. You don't get much with, uh... Oh, no. You don't get much with Matoka Warrior, which stinks. At least in, like, Ancestral Gift. You have the Command Grab Crushing Blow, and you have the 2 2 1 plus 3 Punish Crushing Blow. But yeah, Matoka Warrior, you don't get much. I shouldn't have committed to that. Ah. Oh, the shadow disappears. I didn't know that. That was sick. Nice anti. Keep it safe. I like old block. It's my fault. The block. Nice. All right. Close out the round. I forgot he had the teleport. This guy's got a sick looking new side by man. All right, we gotta take this dub every time. Every single time he catches me with that one plus three. Jeez. All right, I'm falling apart now. This is a, this is exactly what happens with me and Nightwolf. I feel like he's just not a, uh, a first to three set character. People just figure him out. Yeah, I can't even do that, man. All right, this is looking like a swift one one right here. Oh, wait, that was actually pretty sick. That was actually pretty sick. The fact that it was in slow-mo. Damn, he flawless me too. Alright. 1-1. One, one. This is for all the marbles. That was sweet though. That he uh, he meter burned the slide. And it up kicked me. <laughs> from across the map. 1-1 one, one, though. Are we going to go 0-2 in this video? I hope not, man. I've been playing way too much Nightwolf lately. So what I've been doing is. Like trying to get all the character stages done. In the towers. So I've been playing a bunch of Nightwolf. Because I'm trying to get his done. Oh, I forgot about the 3-1-2. Uh, So I've been playing a bunch of Nightwolf because I've been trying to finish his tower and uh, it's been kind of crazy. Nice. Alright, but this is where Nightwolf goes insane. If you can get them in the corner with no meter... Oh, look how much damage I just did to him and he's done. There we go. I didn't have to waste that, but who knows. Oh, come on. There we go. I didn't have to waste that, but whatever. I want to try to use this uh, one or this three one two crushing blow. Well, he doesn't have meter. Oh, nice combo or punish. I can punish that, right? Yes. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'm scared of that uh, two one two man. Oh no! I keep messing that up. Punish? Nice. With the... Oh, he's dead. Got him. Brutality. Let's close it out. Bam! Bam! There we go. Thank you, Nightwolf. That was actually a really awesome video, man. I uh, We lost against that Shao Kahn pretty badly. But that Noob Saibot set was a ton of fun. And it really showed off what you can do with Nightwolf. I mean, if you really want Nightwolf to... Kind of win you games, you gotta get your opponent in the corner, and you gotta have it so they have no defensive meter, and then you just spam that forward too. If you run that back and go check what happened to this guy, what happened to his health bar in the corner when he had no defensive meter, it's unbelievable what you can do. And that's when Nightwolf really shines, but in the mid screen, it's tough, man. If you're not getting your throws or mixing them up with the uh, the back three, four, or the forward two, it's really, really tough. But as always, GG's. If you guys want to check out my life behind the scenes, please be sure to hit on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one.